Hello, Magic Community on YouTube. I'm T1 Glistener Elf. I have a surprise for you in this deck tech. It's baby time! It's baby time! This is Evangel... <laughs> this is Evangeline. This is my little almost 18 month old. Yep, and she's gonna help us out with today's deck tech because today's deck is going to be her first stand up. <laughs> Bless her heart. Today is going to be her first deck. Not her first deck, period, but her first that's going to actually be hers. It's a really, really simple deck, and so she should be able to do this very early on. Oh boy, oh boy. What are you doing? I'm trying to, I probably need to lower this just a bit. There we go. That way you can sit down instead of having to stand up. I'm sure that's not comfy standing up on my leg like that. Okay. So we're going to really quickly run through a few cards. Oh, that's it. Keep looking at the computer. Uh, my fav her favorite thing about my computer is that it's a jukebox. Um, so I'm sure when, when I get done with this, then we'll play you some songs, okay? But in the meantime, let's tell them about your deck. It's very simple. I'm calling it Mer Green White Muraganda, Green White Petroglyphs. Let's call it that, Green White Petroglyphs. There we go. It's based on the card Murgonda Petroglyphs. It's a four drop enchantment, gives all vanilla creatures, that is, creatures with no abilities, plus two plus two. Creatures with no abilities have the added bonus of being very easy to understand. Very easy to understand. <laughs> I love you very much, darling. Here, play with my phone. Play with my phone. <gasps> play with my phone. This is my work phone. <gasps> oh my goodness. Or don't. Bless your little heart. Let's get you something else to play with. How about, want to play with Poldy? <gasps> play with Poldy? No, we just want to play with a cord? Okay, we'll just play with a cord. Oh, bless your little baby heart. <sighs> there we are! Okay. Uh, there are also two more enchantments that are used to buff our creatures. There's Glorious Anthem and Gaia's Anthem which both give plus one plus one to all creatures that we control. Easy enough, right? So our creatures are going to get big. Uh, but all of the actual creatures themselves are vanillas. Um, with, I mean, they are vanillas, but there are sorcery and instants that, uh, that generate creatures as well. I'll get to those in just a moment. So um, for the actual creatures themselves, I'm just going to give you name, CMC, power toughness, that's it. So. Starting from our one drops, we have two Isamaru Hound of Kanda. Just two because it is a legendary, but it's a one drop 2-2, two -two, so it's our almost strictly better Savannah Lion. That's always good. The Hound of Kanda, right? Isamaru. Um, then we have four Yoked Ox. Just a one drop that helps to stall the game for a little bit by being a 0-4. Also, when we actually get our pumps out, it can get its beat on, but not right off. Hey there, hey there, how are you? <gasps> yeah, oh my goodness, look. I mean, that is a fierce look. What are you doing? <laughs> or maybe that's just Inquisition. Like, what is that? I don't know. Um, next in the two drop slot, we have four Colonian Tusker, 3-3 three, three for green green. Uh, and then we have four Leatherback Baileth, 4-5 for green green green. Uh, easy enough, right? The creatures themselves are pretty easy. Um, when we get to... we have four Raise the Alarm, which generate creatures, but those creatures are themselves vanillas. Uh, so this will be how I teach her what instants are, uh, and that there are creatures that aren't actually creatures on the card. They're tokens. Um, we also have four Gather the Townsfolk, Sorcery Speed, uh, Raise the Alarm, except that it also... and I think they're not soldiers, they're humans, but if you have Fateful Hour, then it gets, um, they, you put out five instead of two tokens. I may not tell her about that part right off, just to make it easy. Uh, and then one, or excuse me, uh, four, Call of the Conclave, which makes one. Hey, hey there, hey there, you want to play Tickle? You want to play Tickle? Let's play Tickle. Hey, darling. It makes one 3-3 three, three centaur. Um, just as a nice big beater. It's essentially a somewhat color-shifted uh, Colonian Tusker in this deck. Yeah. 3-3 three, three for two is not so bad, obviously. 
Yeah. Hey there. It's a very simple deck. The lands, uh, five forest, five plains, so ten basics in the deck, which means we run four Canopy Vista, just teach her what basics are and then let her rip with them, uh, four Temple Gardens, teach her what shock lands are and why they're good, and then four Fortified Village. All of those are, those are, I think, the most, they're the simplest dual lands that I could find. She's not going to be playing this in the next month or so. It's going to take a while before she gets to that level. But at some point, maybe, maybe, maybe you do. Okay. Oh, what? Boots. Can you say boots? <laughs> Can you say spaghetti-o? Can you say I want the camera? I want the camera really badly, Daddy. Jay, go give me the camera. Okay, I can do that. Alright, let's... <laughs> I need both hands. Okay, we got this, we got this. Oh, goodness, there you are. There you are. Hey, darling. Do we not want... Do we want the tripod? No, we're not giving you the tripod, honey bunny. Alright, say bye-bye. <gasps> say boots. Can you say boots? That's our that's our uh, fade out. It's our hand. <laughs>